What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a video about Cult of the Lamb, the latest in cult simulators as far as video games go. Now this game actually released a couple weeks ago and has seen quite a bit of attention actually, so I'm a little late to the party here, but while I wasn't initially planning on covering this game at all, I been playing it a little bit here and there and decided to talk about it because as a content creator on YouTube, I too have some experience selling my soul for followers. So naturally, I've been enjoying the game. The game itself is a sort of base management sim combined with sort of roguelike elements. You start the game off by being ritually sacrificed. However, you are saved by, by some sort of not exactly mortal power that takes the form of a sheep. And this thing called The One Who Waits saves you, but in exchange you have to start a cult and spread the good word about The One Who Waits, apparently. And this sets you on your path to becoming a proper cult leader. Now, one thing I really dig about this game is the art style, of course, combining all this sort of cutesy animal stuff with this sort of occultism. And I'm a big fan of that, especially because it reminds me of those South Park episodes where those woodland animals were actually like a cult. So seeing a sort of game version of that is really amusing. Now, as I mentioned, the game is a sort of mishmash of base management on top of the roguelite element. So your base will see you managing your followers, building buildings, making sure your followers are taking care of so they don't leave or die and in return for taking care of them they give you devotion which effectively acts as your progression you can level up this way as well as build more and more cult-esque stuff basically what you'd expect from sort of a base management sim the other part of the game sees you tackling certain areas in a bit of a roguelite fashion where you'll move through set rooms and fight enemies and find just random stuff like extra followers you can save resources for your base that type of thing and overall it's a very fun experience, but I would tell you in my short amount of time with this game, so far what seems to be holding it back a bit is content. The developers are working on free content updates, so I would expect this game to be expanded upon, but as it currently stands, there's not a lot to the game. As you move through the roguelite elements, there's a bit of a progression there, so you'll fight some bosses at the end of each area, and the game does have a definitive end, so there is a story and everything, but it's basically base management and then moving through these areas, and then you fight a few bosses. That's effectively the game, so if you're not really sold on those particular elements, you're probably going to be a little disappointed. Now, later on, when we see free content updates there might be even more added here but as it stands I would say it's mostly a game that's fun to play for a little bit here and there which has pretty much been my approach and honestly I'm not really in a hurry to review this particular game I'm kind of just playing it for fun but once I get completely done with it at some point I might wind up reviewing it because overall and the main thing I want to get across with this video is that it's just sort of a fun silly little game honestly it makes me laugh a whole bunch it's got some decently challenging combat and it's a good way to like burn a little bit of time in between doing the various things you need to do in a day. And in particular, I've got to say, while I don't have my Steam Deck yet because, you know, supplies, this seems like a game that would be great to take with you with like a Steam Deck or something and just kind of play it on the go. But overall, to wrap this thing up and not drag it out too long, Cult of the Lamb is a really fun little title. It combines, again, sort of cutesy graphics with the occultism and the premise. The core idea is hilarious, and I think that's really resonated with people. Hopefully, with some more content in the future, it'll be really fleshed out and even more fun. But more than anything, just a game I've been playing on the side here and there that I wanted to talk about a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. I'm obviously trying to grow my personal following, and that would be a lot easier if you just hit that subscribe button. So, Thank you again. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.